Look at this. Someone, someone left the gate open. So, we're really excited because we, we <laughs> turn right onto Gulf Coast Road. Turn right after this gas station. Finally found some hay for our girl, girls, because you know, our pony's gonna eat it too. Um, so and just say Coast. In 1.6 miles, turn right no, onto Gulf Coast Road. grown south on the coast. It has to be brought in. So everybody had bahia. And as you know, because of the drought, hay is hard to find anyway. So finding coastal was like, it was a big feat. So we were about, what would you say about? Keep going straight. Yes, 30 minutes away from I'm a survivor in a very opposite direction that we don't normally come. So we don't know these roads very well. So I have to use the GPS. And uh, we're gonna get one round bale loaded yeah. and give it a try, see how she eats it, how she, you know, how she likes it. Because as thick of a girl as Dixie is, She's still picky, okay? Thick girls can be picky too. Don't forget that. So this is kind of crazy. They, I, I can't see much because of the sun going The on. sun and the dusty, Texas dusty. I'll just say that. But this is a hay place. <laughs> kind of neat though, because they say, here, you can see it out here. Coastal hay, right there. Alfalfa hay, at least we can't mess that up. Um, Look at that though, they only have four bales. Well, I don't know what's underneath that tarp over there, but right here they have four bales out. There's a lot of Oh hay my stuff gosh, here. look at this. This is like a legit hay place. I don't know. Where wow. To go to pay. What do you pay? I just saw a guy. Look yeah. at how neat that is. It's like all sorted and okay, they're way more together than I anticipated. All right, neat service call David. You gotta call a number. Well, let's call David. So this is pretty neat. Um, I called before we came to make sure they had some in stock, of course, but getting here and seeing their giant production and not realizing that this is all nestled back in the woods was pretty awesome. I don't feel like that they grow it here because we're in the woods area. There's no giant hay fields. Now they may have hay fields down towards Galveston and places like that and haul it up here. This is just where they do business from, but, um, Pretty good setup. Everything covered in tarps is really neat and off the ground. Really, really important. Um, but you can actually see the difference in their hay versus our hay. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we get the rolls out there next to each other as well. Lester finally found a person. I called the number that was on the side there and no one answered, which is, you know, common um, whenever people are out and about and doing stuff. So. Looks like we found a guy gonna get us a deal. <laughs> How exciting! We uh, we take for granted some of the things that nature provides. And it's amazing that over time someone decided, hey, we should take this stuff that the animals eat and we should put it in a bale, make a machine that wraps it all up and keeps it safe so we can preserve it essentially and feed it to them when things stop growing how cool is that and that was easy now let's hope she actually likes it kind of important so it's a little bit bigger than our rolls of hay we might should have bought the big we they probably should have brought a trailer we might have uh, underestimated that a little bit. It's a lot bigger than usual. Wow! That's a large order there. So we're gonna strap that in so that it doesn't go cruising down the highway as we drive. I do have an idea, Jamie. Don't give up the idea. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm just here for the show. Oh, look at this. This guy this guy comes with some genius knowledge here. What is he going to do, Jamie? Look at this guy go. Make me look like a dummy, but teach me something new. <laughs> Hold on, is that made for that? You're kidding me. What it is, also keeps you in the back of the construction. 
That's awesome. And all you gotta do is just unzip it right there. I see how you did that. I had an old timer talking that. Well, let me show you a side muscle. Yes, sir. He goes, let me show you how we do old days. He goes, this is how we do I love it when they come with knowledge. That's amazing. <laughs> this guy's good. This guy, he's, he's a salesman, is what he is. He's oh. I got the used car if you need to buy it too. <laughs> Funny thing is, he, he was joking. Walk over here a little bit. Oh boy! Look at that one roll of hay that fell off of there in the mud. He goes, that's, that's the, the one. one you that's the one you need right there. That, that looks was the one he's gonna cut me a deal on. Oh, I bet there was a deal on that <laughs> one. That's a good deal there. I, mean, I, was only, I was only charged 180. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's perfect. Easy. That's perfect. That's well, this good. is beautiful hay. It's hey, huge. You have time. Hi, ladies. Hello. It's so good to see you. Guess what? We brought you dinner. I'm sorry that we're having dinner after dark, okay? It's a late-ish dinner for a pony and a horse. <laughs> Dixie isn't gonna come to the fence. Her feet are sore, don't get me wrong, but she's like, hey, listen, like I'm in the middle of the dinner. Y'all are welcome to join us, but I'm probably not gonna come hang out with y'all. Uh, I'm very busy here. What she doesn't quite understand though is that La! That's right. That's right, sweet girl. So Dr. Cochran and I spoke last night and she wants to change one of Dixie's medications and It required no meds this morning, but I'm gonna give her meds here shortly so I can actually tell the difference in no medicine in her today because typically she would be up here at the fence line. So, I mean, it, she's upright, it's okay, but I can tell that she's sore. So we're gonna get that in her real quick here. Look at this. Someone, someone left the gate open. And someone, someone's in trouble. Lester Morrow. Oh gosh, that's scary. Girls, stay here. So, I want to go walk close, but I don't want to be a part of the madness slash chaos. So I'll stay right here. Oh, no. The thing is, is here I was getting Dixie's medicine all together. And I walk out and they're out. Where do you think you're going? Dixie? I have your medicine. I will wait till Lester, oh, that's even worse. That's a worse problem than the problem that's already happening. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's super bad. Okay, so my hands are literally full of things you can't even see right now. I have Gatorade, I have her meds, I have her halter. I have a cup. Oh no. Bless her tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, let's see what magic the farmer's gonna work right here. Thank you for putting that into the ground so that I don't trip over it and die. How are you gonna fix this one? Huh? How are you gonna fix this? The goat? Yeah! The goats, the horse, the pony, don't, the ponky. That's what we're going to call it from now on, the ponky. They really do like this hay. Well, that's great, except uh, it's nighttime. Oh, the reluctance. <laughs> they don't know if they should come in or if they should keep being out and about, but I can tell you one thing, somebody's been rolling today. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me turn off my water here. So, that's not great. Dixie's been rolling. At least, well, I think so. She definitely has been in the dirt today. Come on in here, dirty girl. My goodness. I'm talking to you. She's filthy. I don't see where she was rolling, though, so that's a weird thing. Oh, boy. This is great. Lester carries an empty bucket, and everyone follows him. Completely. 
and I'm over here shaking her new favorite thing of Tums, and she's like, uh, this isn't what I ordered. I was like, that's not, that's not what we normally have for dinner. <laughs> Hold on, you're not gonna give some to Dix here? I didn't just drive an hour for nothing. Aw, come on, Dix. An hour is a very heavy load. Here, baby. Look. All right, it made it to the pasture. And I laid some out for my girl here and you can see it hanging out of her lips. She was not interested in pulling it off of the new bale. Right off. But guess who is? Oh, yummy. Oh, now she's like, I'll do it. I'll do it, mom. I'll do it. I'll do it for the camera, for the picture. There it is. Oh, that's good, huh? Oh boy. She's got to inspect it all the way around, which is acceptable. So I'm gonna grab a uh, box cutters and come get some of this hay, this plastic netting off here because it makes me nervous. Um, goats can seem to find their way into anything, it seems. And I would hate for one of them to get tangled up in that because it is tangling. It's the best way I can describe that. So I did realize that she just laid down in the stall today. You can see where she she didn't thrash around or anything like that, but I can see where she got back up. And this is pine shavings mixed with some dust. And that is, it's, it's still very normal for her to lay down for some of the day to rest because she is definitely, her whole body is healing. So <clears throat> she's given that hay a good inspection, that's for sure. She, uh, it's one day at a time, y'all. And today was a day without... The new meds, we had to give meds just a break to clear her stomach. And um, now that we got this coastal hay in <laughs> and she likes it, I think we're on the right path. We are pending a blood test and pending some further discussion around x-rays on next steps around that. But each day is a blessing. And we are so grateful for all your prayers. And specifically for all of the support you've given Dixie. Say thanks, Mama. <laughs> Look at my girl out here. Giving it the old side bite. Oh, she's happy. This new hay is delicious. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for helping us find this today. A little bit over an hour drive, but worth it. So incredibly worth it. Uh -huh.